Here's your latest African news. 26 works of art stolen during French brutal colonialism in 1892 were brought back to Benin after the signing of the transfer of ownership between President Patrice Toulon and French President Emmanuel Macron. The contract signed between the two parties for the restitution of Benin's cultural works follows Macron's promise to restore the stolen art of Africa's heritage by Europe. The artifacts, among them the royal throne of King Gezo and doors from the Palace of Abomi, were welcomed with a ceremony at the Palace of the Presidency that was attended by the head of state Patrice Talon, the presidents of institutions, religious dignitaries, and kings of Benin. Que ce soit une pièce. Whether it's a piece from the kingdom of Conde, Niki, or Porto Novo, whether two pieces from another kingdom of Benin, it remains our common heritage. The 26 pieces that will stay here first for two months so as not to be shocked thermally will stay in a room well equipped for this purpose and which will follow, as the Minister of Culture said earlier, that they will be exhibited here at the palace and accessible to everybody. I believe that this is a start and that the head of state had to say it himself and he will work so that other royal works can return to the country. I believe it is under his belt and he should be thanked. We must also thank the French head of state Emmanuel Macron who gave his favorable opinion until the return of royal objects to our country today. Kings owe it to themselves to purify the works that have come in. We know that Alada, Porto Novo and Abomi are part of Alada. They left Alada, that's why we are there. We are here to represent our ancestors. We think that what happened will never happen again. After a long fight led by many African countries, France has begrudgingly started to return several artifacts to its former colonies while other European countries and museums are also debating to give back stolen works of art and some like the UK outright refusing saying Africans can't take care of their own property. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. You can directly support this news series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.